Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Augusto the dog trainer. I have been training dogs for over a decade professionally. I have also been training dogs a lot longer than that as I grew up training dogs. I train all breeds. No dog is too hard to be trained. I specialize in behavior modification and this is my own pack of german shepherds that you guys are watching right now in beverly hills i live in los angeles i travel all over the country to train my clients dogs so definitely follow me on instagram and stay tuned so that you are uh, so that you'll be notified the next time that i travel somewhere near you my instagram is linked below please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos today we're going to be talking about white german shepherds you guys seemed to have really liked my video on solid black german shepherds so i figured you'd be nice to do one on the all white german shepherds and give you guys accurate information about white german shepherds because there's a lot of misleading and myths about them on the internet and that information usually comes from the average white german shepherd owner so i figured i would give you professional information on this breed to really get you informed on all about them so let's get started let's start by saying that a white german shepherd is not a mixed dog it's a purebred german shepherd um, they have been around ever since the beginning of the breed but in 1933 when the breed standard were cre was created um, they classified the white dogs from the breed as a fault and the reason for that is because German Shepherds were bred to have dark color, like pigmentation, and the white would be considered lack of pigmentation. So it is nothing more than a recessive gene, which basically means if you breed two dogs that carry that recessive gene, you may end up with some white puppies in the litter. Now, due to the fact that they are considered a fault and you can't show them, most breeders do tend to stay away from the recessive gene and try to avoid uh, producing any kind of white German Shepherds in the litters because, again, you wouldn't be able to show them. And when you can't show them, there's no way to get them professionally evaluated by a judge. So a lot of breeders will stay away from them for that reason, which then leads to another problem, which is these dogs are not really regulated if you will like it, they don't have anyone maintaining the standard and this not only this is not only about the way that the dog looks but also the health and the temperament so when you can't show them you there's no one evaluating the health and the temperament of these dogs because when you show german shepherds in the european shows you have to have health testings done the temperament is tested so again without all that you are losing track of the standard more easily and that's why the white german shepherds do tend to have more problems with behavioral issues health issues you know there's again nothing more, no one monitoring them and keeping track of you know is this dog a good example of the breed so the only people that are breeding them are the people that truly just love the the fact that they are white or people who really don't care you know so they again there's a lot of backyard breeders where they would just put any dogs together so this is a german shepherd it will breed them you know but the color by itself does not cause any of the issues they are nothing different than any other german shepherds but they do tend to have less of the ability to work but that's because of the having someone like a judge to evaluate them and, and continue to monitor the, the standard because with any German Shepherd, any lines, it's a process of constantly selection and constantly evaluating every litter, picking out the best puppy and then continue that way so that you produce more quality dogs by percentage, you know, but you can't just always expect that just because you have two German Shepherds, even if they're the best dogs ever, doesn't mean that they're going to produce a hundred percent of the best puppies ever white german shepherds are very rarely used for any kind of police work or protection because dogs that are used for that purpose are constantly selected generation after generation with the right traits for this type of work and because of the white german shepherd doesn't have anyone evaluating them professionally a lot of the white german shepherds do have faulty temperaments and are harder to train than other german shepherds I'll say it again, the white German Shepherds have these issues because no one has been evaluating them and the standards for the breed within the white 
collared dogs ever since 1933. So while all the other dogs have been evaluated and selected generation after generation for the right traits in, that the German Shepherd is supposed to have, no one has done so for the white German Shepherd. So they have just been bred by random people without any professional guidance to keep the standard, to keep them within the right standards. And while this doesn't mean that there are no good white German Shepherd breeders who have been doing all the health testings and temperament testings on their own, it does mean that it's a lot harder to find quality white German Shepherds compared to other colors. Also, they aren't necessarily rare, but they are a little bit harder to find because, like I explained, a lot of breeders do try to stay away from them because they can't really be used for anything other than family dogs and a lot of breeders want to be able to show their offsprings or sell them for the police you know and with the white German Shepherds they kind of looked down by a lot of people including other breeders so a lot of breeders will completely stay away from white German Shepherds. There are a few breeders who specialize in the white German Shepherds and all they need to do is always mate two white Shepherds will always produce 100% white puppies when you breed any other colored dogs that can read the recessive gene then they will they can still produce some white puppies and if you breed one white German Shepherd to any other color they will produce anything but white unless the other dog also carries a recessive gene if you breed a white German Shepherd to a black German Shepherd and they are both recessive and they don't carry either black or white they will produce other colors like black and tan but they will not produce black or white so what do you think? Do you think that white German Shepherds should be accepted into the breed standard? Or do you think that people should just stop breeding them altogether because they are a fault? Let me know in the comments below. I would also like to add that they are registered with the American Kennel Club. So they do come with the AKC papers. And you don't really get anything different other than the color. You just have to do a little bit more homework to find breeders who breed them for the health and temperament. If you do decide to get a white shepherd. Like I said, it's going to be less breeders. And most of them won't be doing any of the health testings or checking on the overall quality of the dog. So do your homework. See you guys next time. Good boy. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome.